Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drive. Today we have a very good car of a good friend of mine, which is a BMW E34 from 1990. 90s kids, we all know what the car is about. A true BMW classic. But before we start the review, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the videos, go to Instagram, go to TikTok. Let's start the review. All right, friends, I need to explain to you quickly why we love the car. So Slavic people in general, tend to love this beautiful machine and all of the cars from back in the day from 1990 where the gangsters had cars like this. So the 7 Series and the 5 Series is really something we from the Balkans love a lot. It showed power to the people. It gave us hope that we could achieve something like this as children. This car especially has the Calypso red color which makes it very appealing to my eyes. This very bronze, this Bordeauxish metallic color, beautiful. In the front of course, two BMW kidneys, the standard back then, two headlights, round form. Then coming to the side, you have this very nice openings down here. This is aftermarket parts because this one is the 525i, but it looks kind of like an Alpina now. In the front, the owner put some nice Alpina wheels. At the side, you can see the car is very nicely made. It took 7,000 kilometers of driving and testing the car to make it very beautiful to drive fast. They drove it on Alps, on Autobahn, on, on the racetrack, everywhere to make it very nice. The car has a very low CV and is capable of driving over 200 kph back in the day. So here you have a little lower front and a higher back typical it was designed with the 7 series so it's kind of the same they are actually just different in the length and some parts in the interior and the engine coming to the back you have a very nice squarish looking back part of this car it has the facelift tail lights the standard one have like an orange kind of thing because this car is from the 90s and of course an aftermarket exhaust pipe which you have to have on a car like this six cylinder inline engine BMW standard. An absolute beauty to look at. All right, friends, it's time to reveal the beast within this beautiful BMW. And this is one of the most iconic bonnets today. So normally I'm pulling here and opening the bonnet, but in this beautiful car, you stand there with a beer or whatever you want to drink and talk to your friends to reveal the engine that's called an M50i engine. It is a 2.5 liter six cylinder inline engine producing 192 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque. It can accelerate the car from zero to 107.8 seconds, depending on how good you can launch it. Tops out at 225 kilometers per hour. But what the car is all about is stability. It is practically unbreakable. And that's what we love about it. So now, All right, friends, welcome to the interior of this businessman's mobile, the BMW E34. So as you can see, I'm sitting like I am in a president's chair. First of all, the seats, they are so comfortable and cushy to sit in. They don't hold you into the sides when driving. You're here to enjoy your business trip. It is very nice to sit in. A big steering wheel, really big. Everywhere you see there are leather parts used on this car, of course, and a high quality leather. I mean, this is over 30 years old and still looks great in shape. You have two armrests. Each, each driver gets, or the passenger and the driver get an armrest so you can chill like this. If you want to drive a little bit faster, put it up and now you can shift this five gear speed box. Very nice manual e-brake, e of course, what else? Then you have your controls down here to open the windows. Plus you have a heated seat, which is very good in the day. So it's very comfortable to sit in and very basic. Two analog speedometers. Back in the day, you, you really had cars that were speaking for themselves, that were presenting to the people that they're high exclusive. Nowadays, the, all you get is plastic, used plastic, no wood, no nothing. I mean, a wooden gearbox. I mean, imagine in 2022, you, you can't even think about. It. My most favorite thing about all of this is of course the gearbox, but the second favorite thing is this little part here. So you have this 
kind of this knob here that you can pull. And what this does is opens the top part of the roof. So you can open it while turning counterclockwise to have some fresh air. But if you want to make it gangster, you just turn it to the right side and reveal the top part of it so it looks just a little bit more, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, let me hop to the back quickly because the buffalo seats, this is buffalo leather and the couch-like feeling continues. So as a passenger, you feel very comfortable in this beautiful car. There's nothing to disturb you, really. It is so nice to sit in. And if you want to smoke, for example, you want to smoke your cigar while being chauffeured, press here to reveal an ashtray. <laughs> Isn't that great? So simple, so effective, and still to this day, so nice to look at and sit in. All right, friends. Welcome to the 5 Series from 1990. And as you can see, I'm sitting so comfortable. It's incredible how nice this car is to drive. The seats are buffalo leather seats. The car has a beautiful six-cylinder sound. Inline six-cylinder, manual gearbox, two analog speedometers in the front, and it's just joyful. Every time you step on the throttle, you hear this six-cylinder sounding so beautiful, so nice, just giving you proper, proper driving experience. What I like most about it is how effortlessly the car drives, really. It is so comfortable, it is so chilly, and it's an, it's an old car. I mean, it's 30 years old, but how far they were into the future building this car is just what I, what I really like. And you can see I have a second review on the car where we really drove it POV on a mountain road. This is just wholesome. Beautiful, nice shift, five gear, gearbox. It's not a fast car, of course, 192 horsepower, but it's light, it has only 1,400 kilograms. So you can really turn into the corner and enjoy a proper driving experience. And that's what BMWs should be about. The steering wheel is kind of loose. You have really to turn a big ratio that the car goes left and right. And it's, I mean, I, I even like that. I even like that because Again, it gives me a proper experience. And it's, it's not a slow car. I mean, the handling is really, it's, it's okay. The handling is really okay. I just love the fact that this is, I mean, the M5 version of this is brutal, absolutely brutal. And I just love the fact that people are still driving it 30 years later, when 34 years later. I mean, look at, Look at how much I can turn the steering wheel. Look at the ratio. Those are two rounds, look at that. It's still not at the top. <laughs> Let me accelerate up. Let me accelerate from zero and show you a little bit of emotion. Just a quick pull. Nicely. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that what a car should be about? Just a beautiful, beautiful, lovely drive. What else would you want? I think if you're really interested in how this car drives, make sure to go to the clip I'm putting above. This is the second review we have done on it. And uh, check that out because we took it really far and I proved there that you can drive an old car pretty fast and beat a lot of other cars. Today, 
we're taking it slowly and I just want to enjoy being able to drive this car again. I really missed it and I think it's beautiful. So if you like the video, make sure to subscribe, like our stuff and see you on the next one, friends. Thank you.